Hey guys and welcome to another video. My name is Katie and today I'm going to be sharing with you my favourite reads of 2023. So I was going through on my core pile and selecting all the books that rounded up to a like 10 out of 10, a 5 out of 5 and I've got 8 books to share with you all. So as always the picture will be on the side. I will just chat a little bit about the book and why I rated it so high and why it's a favourite read of the year and go from there. So these books are going to be in no particular order. I was looking at all of the books that I read out of these to see if there was like my ultimate favourite one of the year and it's really, really hard. I feel like there could be one but the rest of them are kind of like the same so yeah I will let you know I'll leave that one till the end and I'll go through the others first so the first book that I'm going to mention is North Ranger and this is a graphic novel that is by Ray Terciero and it's a 240 page contemporary LGBT young adult graphic novel that released this year I got this physically for review which I'm absolutely grateful for and it basically is kind of like a twist on I think it's Northanger Abbey by Jane Austen but um yeah it was like an LGBT twist on it and it's kind of like it's got a lot of like dark like themes with it so personally i really enjoyed it um it does have a lot of triggers especially of homosexuality but i feel like it really really tackled the triggers well and i found that the romance is really cute and i enjoyed the artwork so this is basically a um swoony and spooky teen romance that is set in a Texas ranch. We have 16 year old Cade who falls for the ranch's uh, owner's mysterious handsome son to discover that he might be holding a secret. Um, Cade has always loved to escape into the world of a good horror movie. Horror movies are scary, but to Cade, um, he is a closeted queer Latino teen growing up in rural Texas real life can be a bit scarier for them so they're sent to spend the summer working at a ranch um, to help earn extra money for his family um, and Kate absolutely hates everything about the ranch from early mornings to the mountains of like, horse poo that he's got to clean up but the only thing is the company um, of who lives there who is the handsome Henry but unexpected sparks begin to fly between them and things start to get complicated and Henry is reluctant to share the details of his mother's death and Kay begins to wonder what else that he might be hiding. So it's definitely great. It's just like a mix of both like romance and horror but I actually really enjoyed it. Really enjoyed the ride of this graphic novel and that's why I gave it a 5 out of 5 Kit Kat. So next of all is Clementine and Danny Save the World by Livia Blackburn. So I found this book to be extremely cute and I really liked that blogging is evolved in it as well as journaling and also even tea as well. I love the community feel that it had inside the book as well and I could really feel the emotions of the characters and honestly if this author like wrote like other books I would read them from them because it was just like really I don't know it's just really cute and absolutely adorable so this is basically about two characters we have got Clementine and she has a pseudonym name she writes on a blog it's called Hibiscus and she basically runs a website where she reviews tea and um, she is also like discussing a lot of issues that is within um, their Chinatown community um, and unfortunately they do have a troll who is called Boba Boy 888 who is also Danny Mock 
um, who is absolutely allergic to change and um, the stuff that's going on in Chinatown absolutely breaks his heart so he channels his frustration into his alter ego which is Boba Boy 888. So when a major corporation is planning to shut down um, the beloved tea shop of Danny and his family Clementine and Danny they find themselves working together to save the community that they both love they work together but out of the computers but they have no idea about their online persona so yeah it's really cool and like when um obviously because we we all know that eventually one person is gonna find out that the other person is the other person that's online so it's just like how it's dealt and I thought it was dealt really well and I really like the story like it literally is just a standalone story and I just thought it was executed really well I love that message and with the community and like how it feels and to like stand up for what you believe in and everything I just really liked that about it and I just thought it was a cute and adorable book and I really really honestly recommend it next of all i read a graphic novel that is called the moon on a rainy night it's volume number one this is by kuzu shiro and i just absolutely found the manga to be really really cute and i really like the fact that one of the main characters is actually deaf so like to have sign language in this book i thought was really unique and really cool and that honestly just made it me love it even more um, also in this book there is a female female romance and I honestly just can't wait to read the next volume and I think the next volume might be out now so that is definitely something I need to get my hands on but this is the story of um, Saki and a one rainy night they're running to go to a piano lesson and they crash into um, a really really pretty beautiful female with this long hair and um saki then is apologizing but the girl just hands back the sheet music and leaves without a word and then saki begins the first day of high school the next morning to find that the stranger from the night before is sitting in the desk that is next to them. She learns that the girl's name is Canon and that she's not completely deaf but she's just very very hard of hearing and Canon needs to be close to people to read their lips so because of that she does tend to push people away um, with their kind of like icy character. Through one kind gesture Saki slowly begins breaking down the walls that surround Canon as she does start to feel something new blossoming between her honestly it's just really cute and really adorable and i just loved it so much i thought it was unique i thought it was great and i was rooting for those two characters like you have no idea it's just really good and if you want a really cute female female manga with like you know sun language and you know kind of like a i suppose maybe like a grumpy sunshine aspect to it of like you know this positive um character and then this kind of like non-positive character and just how they just gel together and how one will like learn to adapt to help the other like i think that's really great where you just sort of like you know what i'm gonna learn a bit of sign language so that you can like understand me better because i want to be your friend and it's kind of like that and yeah that was just what i got from it and really, really like it five out of five just was so good next of all i also read a graphic novel this is nina the story bride it's volume number one this is by rikichi and this is a fantasy manga this is the first book in the series i really like the characters in this and the artwork is brilliant as well and there is like a plot twist that's in this book and i really really just did not see that coming and i was like oh my goodness this has just made the story go like amazingly better and it's just made me 
like I was like I can't wait to read the next volume and I think I already purchased it if I can remember I haven't started it yet but I know that I do need to so yeah it was really really good so this is the story that's about Nina they've had quite a rough start to life and um she is sold into slavery by her very own brother so already like a really tough start but the person who ends up like purchasing them is actually a prince and they have to then learn to live the life of a princess because um there is a recently deceased princess and they pretty much kind of like have the same features so they have to live in place of this princess it's it's great and it's unique and like you know what we to learn about this character of the prince because they're kind of like a mysterious character themselves and it's just kind of like going from there really and honestly i just thought that that was like interesting as well as we learn about that okay guys the next book is dead by daylight volume number three and this is a comic um and it's by nadia shamas um and dylan snook and this was by far my favorite of the year so so far there's been like three released i think we're due like a fourth one but these are based on the legion characters that are from the game dead by daylight and if you guys don't know i do play that game quite often I am a little bit obsessed with it and yeah it kind of like delves into like their past life and about the characters so I do think that's quite interesting obviously they are horror comics as well so there is like blood there's gore and yeah it just sort of like goes and explains the characters more and I just really really enjoyed this volume so so much more and I just literally like getting to know the characters behind it all so that's why i gave this a five out of five kit kats and i can't wait for when the next volume is out next of all i've got another graphic novel for you this is vampire dormitory volume number two and this is by emma toyama i am absolutely loving this series so much and i do need to get volume number three because every book just leaves me wanting more and i just i loved the first book i bought the second one i actually got the first one for review on netgalley and i loved it and then i purchased the second because i found it in my local waterstones and now i need to get volume number three so this is literally about this girl and she lives in this in the boys dormitory and she cross dresses to be a guy um to be like a vampire's thrall so they have like no idea so basically ruka has to sh uh, shower mito with love and affection and in order to do that it will sweeten their blood um and legends do speak of a fated partner for every vampire um so you know kind of goes from there but yeah honestly i love it like literally like my comments on this book on goodreads is i need the next volume in my life this volume was so good i love all of the angst and so many cute moments so so good so those are my comments on it um and yeah i just love the volumes so much next of all we have hearts the world volume number five by alice oseman of course this had to be on the list this was the anticipated release of the year pretty much this came out in december and near enough as soon as i got this pre-order i started reading it so this is a continuation of nick and charlie this was meant to be the final book in the series but um alice oseman decided to continue on with the story because she feels like nick and charlie there's just more to say about them and it needs to be like wrapped up well so until she's satisfied with it 
this is not the last book now but of course as a Heartstopper fan I'm happy that she's extending it because I was going to be very very sad about this one now I'm very very happy that it's continuing so of course this is going on from Nick and Charlie this is tackling where they gonna go to like kind of like are they going to go to like college university like with their studies and how that's going to impact their relationship also there's other characters in this that are discovering their own sexualities and things like that and yeah it does tackle quite a lot of stuff in this book so it is it does make you think definitely i thought it was executed pretty well as always alice oseman is just amazing at doing that but at the same time still making it a very adorable graphic novel so I'm really happy with this and I remember like as I finished it I was just like oh my god like it was just really really good and yeah I'm just excited for the next volume whenever that release may be and yeah I'm happy I'm up to date again but of course it's Heartstopper so yeah I recommend this series to anyone and everyone and last but not least guys I'm gonna recommend this to you I think this is honestly my favorite book of the year because when I, I look at the book title I reflect on it as like when I read it this year so this book is Kingdom of the Wicked by Karen Maliscalco this is the first book that's in this series and it was so so good honestly so um, this is actually about there were two sisters and unfortunately one of them gets murdered and the other one finds them in this like chamber murdered and so Amelia is then pretty much like kind of like on a vengeful hunt to find out who killed her sister Victoria and um, so they are witches they pretty much kind of live um, secretly among the humans and they find out that there are wicked princes of hell basically and there is one that's called Wrath and then they're suddenly there and they pretty much claim that they're also on Amelia's side um, and they're trying to find out which other prince of hell is murdering these female witches and why that is so they kind of team up together to like work together by you know ticking off both of the boxes at the same time killing two birds with one stone and helping each other so it's the true about that as well as their friendship developing and you know like all over the place there's like twists and turns and it just takes you one way then it takes you back another way and then you're like oh my god what the hell's going on and then something else happens and you're like seriously where is this going and then it ends and you're just like oh my god like i need the next book my notes on goodreads what well, i absolutely love this first book in a series this is my first book that i read by kerry and i'm definitely wanting to read more there's a lot of plot and twists and turns and I can't wait for more. Honestly, this definitely, f I think it was my favourite book of the year. And that's why I'm leaving a last and that's just what I'm going to say on it because I feel like it impacted me the most and I flew through this book really quickly. I was really enjoying it. So yeah, and I loved it so much that I purchased books two and three and even Throne of the Fallen which i believe is like a spin-off i've got it around here somewhere on one of these shelves i'm literally kind of like obsessed over it so that pretty much lets you know how the book affected me and and all that so yeah but guys that is the end of this video the lighting outside is starting to get really dark and um it's now time to wrap it up so yeah i hope you guys have enjoyed this video and if you have please do give it a thumbs up all of my social media links as always are linked down below in the description if you would like to follow me elsewhere twitter instagram goodreads you name it is literally down below but that's it for me guys keep smiling keep reading and be happy my name is katie and i'll see all of you wonderful awesome people in my next video bye <laughs>